Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to enlarge images by making them buttons with rollover states. Here's an example where I have three smaller images that show a larger version when I roll over each of them with the cursor. These larger versions can show more detail for a product, draw attention to a selected item, or just add interest to your buttons. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how they're set up. Here I have a layout with three smaller versions of the images. The first image is already set up as a button. I'll go to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms to open up that panel. When I select the button, you can see that it has both a normal and a rollover appearance set up. Let me show you with this next image how to set that up. When I click on the content grabber, I can see that the placed image is scaled down to 34.4%. So I know that it can be enlarged. I'll turn this second image into a button. With the image selected, I'll set the type to button in the Buttons and Forms panel. Notice that the button only has a normal appearance state. To add a rollover state, I'll click on the rollover appearance. InDesign makes a duplicate of the normal appearance state for the rollover. Now I need to scale the rollover, but this is where it can get tricky. If I hold the modifier keys, Command Option Shift on Mac or Control Alt Shift on Windows, to proportionally scale the image from the center, then InDesign scales both the rollover and the normal states. Let's undo that. And instead, let's go to the Layers panel, open up Layer 1, and twirl open our button. This time, I'll select the item associated with rollover in the Layers panel, and then scale it up by dragging while holding the modifier keys. The rollover appearance is now larger, and when I check the normal appearance, it's at the original smaller size. I'll do that again. Select the image, make it a button, click on Rollover in the Buttons and Forms panel to add that appearance, select this button's rollover item in the Layers panel, use the modifier keys to scale it up while I drag, and check the normal appearance. Because these are buttons, you can add actions to them. By default, the event is set to On Release or Tap, so the user will need to click the button for the action to happen. You can also set the event to on rollover if you want an action to happen when the user rolls over the button. Similarly, you can add an action for when the user rolls off the button by adding an on roll off event and adding an action to it. I'm not adding any actions to the button, so let's save and export to see how it looks. Let's take a look. All the buttons start out with a smaller normal appearance. When I roll over each of them, the larger rollover appearance shows. Tell us in the comments how you might use buttons with enlarged rollover appearances in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.